Dr. Gary Arnold, and I'm here with Dr. David Poussin with Poussin Family Dentistry in Slidell. David, how are you doing? Doing great today, Gary. Oh, well, well, welcome. We're going to talk about dental implants. Okay. So tell us a little bit about, first, what is a dental implant? A dental implant is a tooth replacement. So um, the, I guess to start out with the, the answer to that question by why would you want to replace a tooth? So it, <clears throat> many reasons to replace a tooth. Of course, if it's, if it's in the front, then you don't want that social stigma of you know, what happened to your tooth right. kind of thing, you know? So you, we want it for cosmetic reasons, for self-esteem, for just uh, having that, that confident look that, uh, that you want when you're dealing with other people. Um, second reason, of course, if it's a back tooth, it's function. You want, you want to be able to chew your food and digest your food and and eat food that uh, that's healthy for you. So, um, so those are the, the two reasons why you would uh, you'd want to replace a tooth. And then the next question is, what's the best way to replace a tooth? Dental implants. And it's so much better than a regular denture because it's permanent. Exactly, and natural, and not removable, and all those things that make it feel comfortable. <clears throat> So, so a couple of the things that a lot of people don't know is if you are getting looks because you've got a missing tooth and it's bad and it, you know it, it doesn't look or look right, but there are some health reasons too with teeth moving around and your your bone. So tell us a little bit about that besides just looks. Well, I see it on a daily basis. People come in all the time and get their teeth cleaned, and you know. At some point in, in their uh, adult life, they've lost a tooth, and so they, eh, I'm, I'm kind of old to re be replacing teeth, that kind of stuff, but what happens is the teeth start shifting, and, and then you get bone loss around previously healthy teeth. You get, you, you get malpositioned teeth, so it's more difficult to keep it clean. They try to fill in that hole. Right? Yeah. They, they yeah. move around and shift. Well, the, the partner tooth, whether it's upper or lower, that partner tooth will, will continue to erupt because there's nothing to hold it into place. And then teeth behind it usually collapse forward and close the space that way, but then it creates a bad gum situation around that tooth. And then if they have multiple teeth that they're missing, they could literally have facial sagging for their... It'll literally distort their face. Is that sure. Yeah, if you take a tooth out and you don't replace it with an implant or a bone graft in preparation for an implant, that socket literally, when it heals, it just collapses, and and then you have this this negative this void in your mouth that is not supporting your lips or your face or whatever. I know when I saw your model of a um, an implant, it had four posts in it, mm -hmm. and it it literally was difficult to take and separate apart from the model itself and to, to pull the implant structure out. So I could see that someone that got um, dental implants could eat a steak or an apple or anything anything that they would regularly consume. Sure, sure. That's my favorite, my favorite way to replace full arches of missing teeth because it's, it's convenient for the patient. They can take it out to keep it clean and brush right. their implants, but they can snap it back in and be totally confident that no matter what they eat, sing, chew, speak, whatever, laugh, those teeth are not moving at all. So can you tell someone about the pr process of, you know, they, so they know they're missing a tooth or teeth. What's the process that we would, we would have them come in, they would have, a, um, a set of x-rays, you would take a look at it and see if they were a candidate. How do they know if they're a candidate or not? What's, what are some of the things that would tell them they are a candidate? What might be some things that would tell them they aren't a candidate? Well, uh, standard of care now is to take a three-dimensional x-ray to measure the volume of bone in the imp prospective implant site. Um, so that would be the first step, get a three-dimensional x-ray. And we have an imaging center that we send our patients to. Uh, they give us a real good price on a, on a three-dimensional x-ray for the entire uh, set of jaws, and it's $95 for that, very good price. 
And, uh, and so we can analyze that and see exactly what the volume of bone is. That then we determine exactly what kind of implant, how large an implant, and uh, how many implants we can place. And if someone has had a missing tooth or a missing set of teeth for a long time and they have bone loss, there's still some things that you can do. You can, you can do bone grafts, you can do sinus lifts, because you take a tooth out in the upper, the sinus is going to expand to where that tooth used to be, and then you lose the bone to put an implant in. Um, uh, the sinus lift procedure is where uh, you go in there and you lift the membrane of the sinus up and just pack bone underneath it and create a nice new layer of bone and, and that handles that problem. So it's not a one-step procedure, correct? They come in, they get an evaluation, yep. then the next step would be to see if they're going to get the titanium post put in, if they can have that done then you do temporaries with that? And well, if it depends on what the situation is. If it's a, if it's a single tooth and, and the implant torques in when you place the implant and it torques tightly, then you can make a temporary crown uh, and avoid anything removable. If, if, it, if it's soft bone and you don't want to risk any movement at all, then you usually cover the implant, you sweep the implant under the gum line and go with a removable replacement until the bone and the implant grow together and form six solid. months to, to become three, three, solid. Months. three months to three become months. solid. Yeah. <clears throat> and the teeth that you put in are made of porcelain, right? And they look literally almost indistinguishable. I wouldn't know. A yeah. dentist would probably know, but I wouldn't know that they weren't regular natural teeth. Well, the, even the materials have improved tremendously, Gary. It's it's not exactly porcelain anymore. It's it's a zirconium oxide. And really? It's, uh, they, they've gotten so sophisticated. They it's milled out of a solid block of zirconium. Wow. But the the block is is has a transient shade in it too. So it's not a a, a one shade, you know, looking tooth. It it the edges will be transparent. The middle will be a little bit. Uh, wow. and the Back will have a little color to it. So, so it looks incredibly natural when they're finished. So yeah. the, the zirconium that I know, women wear in a ring. Is right. that correct? Is that the That's same? The same. This, is, this is a zirconium oxide, and and so it's going to be super strong. It is strong. It's very strong. So, they have um, a, a implants that are done with titanium posts that are put into the bone. Right. Um, I know some people are squeamish about, wow, it's into the bone, but we do sedation dentistry here. Tell us a little bit about what sedation is and how is that used for implants? Uh, it is. It do doesn't have to be, but, but we, we do a lot of that with implants. Um, Does it sound like a bigger procedure than it really is? The, the implant? The implant. Oh, my goodness, yeah. It's, it's very easy. Very easy. A lot, a lot of people come in and just get it done without without being sedated and it, and it works fine. If you're doing, you know, multiple implants and taking teeth out and doing bone grafts all at the same time, it's, it's better to, to snap through that procedure. But, uh, but for a single implant in any location, we usually do that without sedation. When someone finishes this procedure, their life has changed. Well, uh, I would hope so. You they're know, they're eating better, they're chewing naturally, they're looking, looking better. better. Sure. Yeah. And, and their facial uh, structure is back to normal. And the success rate for implants is incredibly high. So, and, and the longevity is, is, is long. So it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a great value, even though it sounds like, oh, that's a lot of money for an implant or one tooth to replace. Chances are that that tooth's going to be there forever. That's pretty great. Yeah. And I know the people that I've seen coming out have, you know, the, the testimonials have been incredible, Stella, five star. It's, oh, it's yeah. changed them immensely. Yeah. So um, what, do the, what do they do? They just call you if they've got um, that problem and do you set up the, the appointment? What's the procedure for someone that needs to come in to get a, a look at if a dental implant is right for them? Yeah. We, we do some procedures on a referral basis where, where other offices will send patients to us to do stuff. But for, for the most part, when a patient comes in, we're, 
we're assuming they want to belong to our dental family, so to speak, and so we, we take a set of x-rays and do a real thorough exam, go over the basics with them, we show them how to floss their teeth, uh, how to take care of their mouth, and, and then we establish that relationship where we can build from there, and, and if they trust us and, and, uh, and let us you know, make recommendations, then we, we kind of guide them through the Work whole Work over their whole hygiene, their oral hygiene, yeah. sure. their, their health. And it's really, um, you've been doing dentistry for 40 years 40 now. 40 years, yeah. It goes quick. Um, the thing that I would like to, to say is that, you know, you are a stellar part of Slidell. You know, you've been Humanitarian of the Year here. You, know, you just received Edge Magazine's uh, North Shore Dentistry um, Award for the Reader's Choice. So um, people, people like you, they trust you. And I would think a big procedure like uh, an implant, something that's big for the individual that's doing it, um, you'd be the ideal person to, to do that. So. Well, uh, experience goes a long way. It does go a long way. Yeah. So, um, Poussin Family Dentistry, right here in Slidell, 640 Brown Switch Road. Give us a call if you've got a missing tooth or teeth or would um, like to discuss with your dentist your dental health. Come in and see us. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.